All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Some people have been asking me recently if I have any figs. And I mean, I guess they're kind of new to this whole thing, but figs are a fall fruit. And you can tell by just looking around me here is that I have trees that are really just now waking up. We're just now really beginning our spring season. So I'm lucky if I get figs, let's say in July or August, but most people in the Philadelphia area are gonna ripen their figs sometime in September, or October. So we got a long ways away before I really get my first ripe figs. Um, in actuality, I have some fruit that's forming now, main crop that's forming in the greenhouse. So we're about 70 days away from my first ripe fig, which is actually really awesome and really impressive, but it still wouldn't be as impressive as actually having ripe figs now. I mean, I would, I would say, unfortunately, this is a really tough time of the year for me because there really isn't great fruit around, um, either in the stores or even coming out of my yard. This is kind of like a gap in my year where I struggle to eat quality fruit. Uh, usually in the fall, we end our season and I have things maybe like persimmons and pomegranates. We might get some nice apples, some nice pears, um, you know, and then as soon as the, the fall season sort of starts to end, then you kind of have to rely on dried fruit. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video is actually I have some dried figs in front of me. These figs right here, I would argue are some of the best dried figs I've ever had. And I would say they're probably number two on my list. In terms of my ranking though of dried fruits and what I usually rely on throughout the winter is actually dried figs. That's probably my number one go-to. Although my favorite is actually the date, the Majul date. If you can find grade A premium quality Majul dates, maybe a little bit more expensive, they're totally, totally worth it. It is the best dried fruit, I think. My second favorite dried fruit is uh, Hoshigaki or dried persimmon. There's a couple names for it, depending on the language you're speaking, I guess. But that's really, really impressive. You could buy yourself some Haichia, dry them yourself, uh, and they come out incredible. It's a, such an amazing, amazing dried fruit. And I almost want to put them above the, uh, the date, but if I can get my own persimmons, my own dried uh, persimmons for my own trees, I bet you they would be better than the Majul dates. And then third, I'd probably rank is the dried fig. I also really like you know dried bananas or plantains. Um, I really love apricots and raisins, oh, really tons of a lot of good dried fruits if they're done right. And the way that you really want to dry a fig is you want to have a good quality product to start. And these figs, by the way, are, have that exactly. They are, you can tell by looking at them that they have crystallized the sugar on the outside. It looks gray and silvery and kind of strange and you might think oh there's chemicals or something on them but that's actually the sugar within the fig crystallizing on the skin and that's a great sign that you started out with a fig that had a high enough bricks high enough sugar content to actually crystallize and not mold or spoil on you that's another big problem with a lot of these dried fruits is a lot of them end up spoiling so it's a really a big problem if you don't have the right sugar content to start, you're not gonna end up with a great product. And this one here, these are Black Mission figs from, uh, let's show you the company here because they deserve some credit. Some California grower. They're always big either in California guys or um, they're also big in Turkey. There's a lot of dried figs coming out of Turkey. And I actually think the, uh, there's these dried Turkish figs or dried Kalamurna figs. I'm not sure if they are from Turkey. I imagine they are. But the Kalamurna is a great variety for drying that usually is pollinated, it's large. They sun dry them, they have the perfect climate for it. Uh, I get those at Costco, but you have to get them early in the season. Actually, I would argue if you get them earlier in the season and you don't just keep getting the ones that are probably on the shelves and like you know, even starting in like January, it's almost too late because the quality starts to go down. They do get a bit sweeter, but I would argue it, they're really so much better prior to like Christmas. These I'm getting now, it's the end of April. 
And I'm really surprised to even find these at all and to find them at such high quality. I was really blown away. They are refrigerated, which I guess helps. And maybe that added some extra something to them because it is nice to, you know, dry the fruits and then even refrigerate them. It does change things a bit. But these black mission figs, it's not a calamurna. These are quite special. And I would argue it's not really in the flavor. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the black mission in terms of flavor. It makes a good jam. And obviously it makes a good dried fig, but the actual flavor of the black mission is, um, I think there's better figs. But what really impressed me about these, I'm gonna eat them now, finally. Everyone's like, just eat the fig. But um, what really impresses me is the texture of this. It's, it's almost like crunchy. It's like chewy, but almost crunchy because what happens is the outside layer of this gets dried and crystallized and almost to that perfect texture that kind of reminds me of Hoshigaki on the outside. Just like this, the inside's kind of moist, which is really what you want out of a dried fig. That's personally critical. You can't dry the whole thing all the way through. You ruin it. Leave the inside moist. Same thing with a dried persimmon or a date. The outside gets sort of crunchy. Personally, I actually think it's very similar I've had to a Lulu date. It's a type of date, different variety than the Majul, that I would argue is almost just as good because of that outside uh, exterior, that texture changes, and it becomes the most amazing textured foods. These, these, these figs here, the dried persimmon, the Lulu date, they all kind of have the same thing. Even the Asian persimmon, which I also grow here, it's kind of similar. It gets kind of crunchy towards the center. It has those little individual cells or individual vesicles, you might want to call them, individual little pieces of fruit, kind of like how, um, kind of like how a piece of citrus is, where you can peel back the citrus and individually see each little pocket of juice, pocket of fruit. Um, and they're called, I guess, vesicles. So it's the same thing with this, is that there's all these individual cells that have sort of dried into the, like this perfect state that makes them chewy and crunchy at the same time. And it's just mind-blowingly good. This is my favorite thing about it, is not the flavor, although it's good. The seeds also add a little bit something there. But it's really about that texture. And then the outside is sweet. The inside's sweet, it's just, Oh, it's just so good. My hat's off to this company. I guess they're called uh, Nature's Treasures. I don't know who dries them. I don't even know who grows them. They're not called Nature's Treasures. Who are, <laughs> I don't know who they are. United with Earth. That's them. So if you can find them, I would recommend it. They have a website, unitedwithearth.com. Not sponsored. Just genuinely love these figs. Um, they're not all perfect, I've noticed, but great quality for this time of the year. And uh, for people who are itching for some figs, if you can find these, highly recommend it. The only other dried fig I've ever had that's better than these were figs that were grown at a commercial orchard in Portugal that were given to me by a very uh, famous fig grower in Portugal named Lampo. And he... Uh, I guess the, the commercial orchardist there ended up somehow getting these to me, tried them, gave them to you guys at the Staten Island Fig Festival one year, let you guys try them. It's a variety called Inchario Preto. They had the most amazing flavor, very good texture. Also got some, I forgot about this, from my friend Stephen Winter, which uh, were the most highly flavored figs I've ever had, dried figs I've ever had. Uh, right from his orchard in Texas, grown under greenhouses, perfect weather, perfect environment, perfect soil moisture to get really some of the most flavorful figs you can, you can grow. This, though, has the best texture of any dried fig. So you can't find the other stuff, honestly. So this is something is your next best bet. Hope you guys enjoyed this 
little fig tasting here that we did. We'll see you guys soon. Check out the other videos we've done on figs. Hit that subscribe button. See you soon.